Amadeus, Pontius and Zoya's retirement plans had gone horribly wrong. Instead of getting rid of their extraordinary powers, they had managed to destroy the artifact of soul. Our three heroes set off to repair what damage they had caused, or the damage that might yet be done. The heroes entered the Astral Academy with the intention of finding out where the sinister cloud of darkness was hidden. Ours was just one of three artifacts, right? There's the artifact of body and the artifact of mind, too. Yes, and they're both stored in the Academy's vaults and are far less likely than our artifact of soul. Three artifacts, Amadeus. I know as much as any wizard. They're three magical containers found in dwarven ruins years ago. And very few people have ever been able to tap into their power. Who made the artifacts? No one knows for sure. They thought it was the dwarves, but it's not likely, since they don't resemble anything else the dwarves made. I have a hunch. We should go to the vault where the other two artifacts are stored. The black cloud might be headed there. is possessing the academy. I'm not scared of a few upper two trinkets. Let's hope they die as easy as they come to life. <laughs>
There's a whole stash of books here about the artifacts. And about us, since we've been stuck with one of them for the past few years. I hope they mention my red cloak. What? Someone's written about me? With whose permission? Studying the artifacts of power. The artifacts of power continue to confuse and frighten the wizards of the Astral Academy. The artifacts were unearthed from dwarven ruins a hundred years ago. But few scholars bother to mention that the three items were contained in what appeared to be a prison chamber rather than an arcane vault. We don't quite know what these artifacts do or what they exist for, but they give us the unnerving feeling that they each have a mind of their own. Especially the artifact of soul. Dark metal cars. Better be careful. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zoya's retirement plans have gone horribly wrong. Sharp metal parts. Better be careful. So, is it actually a good idea to follow the black possessive smoke around the academy? You're the wizard, you should know these things. <laughs> a possessed will. Then let's tear it apart!
So, which one's this? That's the artifact of body. Who seems to be in order here? The third artifact of power was in the last port. Sinister energies swept inside it, and then it exploded. I'm free! So good to meet you three properly at last. I am Sarek the Deathless. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get out of these ridiculous prisons. A thousand years I've been torn apart. <laughs> Wait, were you inside the Artifact of Soul all these years, helping us? Merely a small part of me. You confused me with my jailer, whose torturous scream so pierced the air when her vessel of power was torn apart. But I must thank you three again for getting rid of her so efficiently. We did no such thing! <laughs> you meddled with powers beyond your understanding. You wanted to be rid of her, break free, and you got your heart's desire. Nothing destroys a soul better than a good old-fashioned betrayal. Alas, I must dash off and look for a comfortable body to occupy. Well, have a lovely day. Until we meet again. <laughs> uh, Go to the library. Find the Chronicles of the Guardian. Our tiny piece of the artifact spoke. It's alive. Wants us to go to the library? Any other requests, Miss Artifact? But the voice emanating from the shard said nothing. There are glittery, shiny things out there. The other shards that broke off Trine. And they're scattered all over the lands. Nearest one seems to be in Redwood Forest. Shouldn't we go pick them up? I think we ought to do what the voice said and get to the library. Darn books are always on my bad side! Searching the Artifact of Soul. Ancient dwarf runes describe the artifacts as Zarek for mind, Arhuna for body, and Katrine for soul, even though such words are not known in any dwarven dialects. We must assume that these words date back earlier, to the time of the forging of the three artifacts of power. The Artifact of Soul responds well to being addressed to Katrine, or just Trine. It glimmers and hovers, almost as if the object truly had a soul.
doesn't normally glow like that. Something's amiss. So, we'll take this enormous book and beat Sarek to death with it. They do say the pen is mightier than the sword. Aha. We'll use it to get information. 